Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. Been a long time coming, but finally, Cowboy gets to play as a cowboy. So I don't think anything needs to really be said here. Y'all know what we're in for. This game is already getting reviews as apparently being the best game ever made. Which is fantastic, because Red Dead Redemption is a game that I loved back in the day. And this is going to be an equally fantastic adventure, I feel. So I am playing on PS4 Pro. Got an SSD in there, so hopefully that'll put a dent in the load times. We'll see what happens. But we're going to jump straight in, you know? Let's, let's get it. Age Outlaws and Gunslingers. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. Dutch is gay. Stop soon. We'll all be dying. It's weather. It's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur. Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Chapter One. Bring him in here. Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. This? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved 
Davy. Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son! Bye. We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close and we'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather! Been two days or more like this now. It has to blow over soon. I do find it interesting we're playing as like the uh, the antagonist this time. So for those that don't remember, Dutch was like basically the main bad guy um, back in the original Red Dead. Well, I shouldn't say the original, Bridge but back in Red Dead Redemption. Getting all snow we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's telling us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. So, do you think it was a trap in Blackwater? That many men? Oh, they knew we were coming. But there was money on that boat, all right. Lots of it. I stashed what we took with all our money in town right before we fled. Hey, I think I see something up the path. You up ahead. Who's there? Whoa. Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Uh, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is, or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac and Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of him. 
Something about double tapping and holding X. I didn't even see what it told me. You run into anybody else? I I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. Ain't much, but shelter. So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. My health icon thing is dinky. Hitch up here. Whoa there. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. I like the snow like physics. Hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. Oh. <laughs> oh, look, there's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. need some... There's a body in the wagon. I uh, hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Ah, I can't, can't see anything. The snow. I see him, Dutch. I said I'd handle this. Didn't seem to be going too well. Goddamn O'Driscoll boys here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, go bring the horse. 
This is closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Weird, because like, I keep getting, uh... It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colmo Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colmo dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Need to get... Get, like, out of the... the tutorial so I can actually like roam and shit. Warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Uh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. I sick oat cakes. Eat a provision. Store some health core. Damage with different effects. Eating a little health core, better quality food. Roof. Well, I found so far is some some weedy cakes and some pistol ammo. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Biscuits. Meet me out here when you're done. Yep, I got you. Canned veggies and some canned fruit. L3 makes you creep. That's it. Oh, cakes. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah? You search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. To my beans. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. 
I don't want to work for you. <laughs> really know nothing else? Please. I, I won't breathe a word to you. Goddamn right you won't. Did we kill him? Or is he just unconscious? Took off my hat. post right there. Okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Well, he's dead now. and his scum, they beat us to it. We found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed.
He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Uh, Abigail? Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and he looked for me thank you this way last I know John was headed up the river for all we know he kept riding north and never looked back he wouldn't leave not like that uh, wouldn't be the first time And so far, this has been more like watching a movie than playing a game. I'm just, I'm just sitting here, feet kicked up, controller on my lap, like, yep, hey, any day now. Smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Adelante. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. Let's help us display the left sure will collapse at the health bar to please. Let's just see where they lead. The money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. <laughs> Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. either basically like, can I play the whole game first person if I want down here I can see the tracks here Arthur yeah Davey got shot Mac and John both shot too Sean we don't even know I'm surprised we escaped at all by the time you boys showed up from the other side of town we were only just holding on huh bad business all right Hold X while viewing a cinematic camera to automatically follow roads and other paths. Cinematic camera. Cinematic. It's like a movie. yourself. It's not very wide here. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. 
Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. That ain't good. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. Come on, up there. Horse got cut open. I wonder if he was in the horse. Hold the. Uh, himself in the horse's body, I Star Wars style. From your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? One sidearm at a time, you can swap your carry weapon with weapons stored on your horse. Yeti. I mean, who's going to hold somebody up out here in the mountains, you know? Watch out here. You show sure about this. Yeah, it's John. He's coming from this way. Okay. Mierda, that we're high up here. You're telling me. down here. Watch yourself. It's slippery. Be careful. Stay low under here. Okay. Good now. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Stamina. Not looking good. I need something that's gonna. Come on. Gap here. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Keep moving then. Come on. John! Marston, you hear me? John, can you hear me? John! John, where are you? Marston! Come here! Down on the ledge! That's John! We're coming! Someone's telling me to aim my gun. Over here, Arthur. Coming, buddy. Hang on. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> you don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. And he's fucked up. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. 
Good thing we came looking for him. Well, Probably would have died. Can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry side? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. to the lock onto an animal. I'm like instinctively hitting triangle to loot him like I'm playing uh, Assassin's Creed. What are you doing? Come on then. Let's get back to the others. Waiting on you, compadre. Making the horse jump. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're going to need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Come on! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Why is it quiet? It's too quiet. This is, this is bad. Something's happened. Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. Um. Uh, you're alive. Right, here we go. Here oh, we never go. mind. Never mind. We're good. Ah, careful, idiotas! It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> thank you, Arthur. Thank you. Got you got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. 
Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Then some interesting locations are noted in your journal. Hold to view. We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit. And we go back to Blackwater and we get our money and we get some more money and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. Item. Open items provide half the benefits of new Not items. This. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. What about you, Arthur? You doubt me too? Never. Good. Because you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men after us, because they ain't never gonna find us. But we need money. Of course, Dutch. Thank you, son. For your strength. It means a lot to me. I know I'm not the only one that notices that this character basically looks like me, but in about 10 years. And Rockstar owes me some money. Modeling talents. Starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? Ten, twelve people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. <laughs> Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. I mean, we did just kill, what, three, six, seven wolves? Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. 
Come on. This way. Sorry. I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. I wish you could just tap the button. You we're gonna find something to kill? It ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just... Lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <sighs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. I wish you could just, like right now, like I'll let go of X and you can already see. Damn. Let's look down this way. I think it's silly. You should be able to hold X once and then like, you know, kind of how like you hold A and then auto run just happens. Uh, Assassin's Creed. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. <sighs> There's a deer been here and recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Yeah, that's it, boy. Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. The Leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. No. Oh. Use the bow I gave you. I, d I got it. Don't Calm down, man. Noise. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. See the tracks? I think so. Maybe not. Focus. <sighs> it's easier than the snake, snake, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Quite a few hunting games in my day. Think I'll do just fine. Got a little tracking bar down in the corner. And we'll eagle eye to track the. 
sounds like a timer. Scent. Scent is also shown on eagle eye blowing in the direction of the wind. Animals will flee if they smell your scent. So remain downwind or far away when hunting. Where is... I don't see where, uh... Wait, look. There they are. Are you ready with that bow? Uh, Try oh. to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. You can pull that out quite hard. You were a good shot. Now it's time for another. I think animal's attention by selecting call while aiming at us will give you a chance for a clean kill as they raise their head before fleet. I mean, one deer is definitely enough to feed everybody. It's a lot of meat. Up the arrow, I don't gotta harvest it or anything. How do I... How do I call it? So studying an animal, discovering information about it. Pelt quality is reduced with average or poor kit. Yeah. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Oof. Just toss that deer up. This thing's got to be like 150 pounds. I don't know. I'm curious. I feel like a deer is pretty damn heavy to just toss up on your shoulder and firemen carry it real fast. Let's see. Average weight of deer. You couldn't come a little bit, a little bit closer, horse. White-tailed deer, average weight 150 pounds. Fallow deer 130. This looks white tail. Yeah, so that's 150 pounds. <laughs> he just chucked that shit on his shoulder. Like, yep, yep, not a problem. Just throw it on up there. Toss that thing like it weighed. Oh my god. Oh my, why is I'm not getting a prompt to mount you, arrow girl? Oh no! Don't punch your horse! Come on, man! What the shit? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna give you a carrot for make up for punching you. <laughs> oh Christ! Not even out of the first episode, and I've already punched my deer. Or punch my horse, I mean. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. Yeah, I'd proud? say so. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck's finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, 
And he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Huh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. We must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Oh, where you go? Where are we going, man? I mean, we got meat, but I could shoot that bear in the face with my shotgun. That'll be the end of the bear. That's a lot of meat to bring back. Better spook your horse. Level three to calm the horse. six months something like that but you didn't expect this what any you're in hold l1 and tap let stationary perform this move being up here uh, sooner or later a job's gonna go wrong nature of life i just thought you might have moved on by now you want me to move on no no not at all i just i know you could run it alone no problem i did that for a long time I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. We got food. 
Just notice, look at the, the deer. They got snow here. coating on them. It's pretty cool. Yep, white-tailed deer. Get these over to Pearson. I know. Thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice. Well, well, well. <sighs> Just drop it down in here. Oh, there we go. What a surprise. I find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you saying it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> you always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one if you dumped on the floor there. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> All right. So, I'm going to wrap things up here for now with that first one hour long episode. Whew, man. I feel like we haven't done shit. Like, honestly, this, this game so far, like, I know I haven't said much, but it very much is, it's like a cinematic experience. Like, it, it feels, I don't know. Like, I, I, I mean, yes, it feels like playing a game, but it's like you're playing a, a movie, but in a good way. Because there's games where it's literally just cutscene after cutscene after cutscene, and it feels like you're watching a movie and not playing at all. And I don't, I don't, man, I don't know. I never played nothing like this. I'm liking it, but, man, it's just different. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to get two more episodes out for you guys today and then try and get some stuff done over the weekend and give you give us some more Red Dead hype, keep the party going. So either way, stay tuned and we'll catch you all with more soon.